hello friends uh, today we will understand how to solve uh, how to exactly solve the ordinary differential equation using euler's method so this is one of the numerical method so if you are given one problem dy by dx is x minus y square and these are the initial conditions given x is 0 then y is 1 and you want to find y and x is equal to 2 and there is uh, state size given h is equal to 1 so what h is equal to 1 means it means first you will calculate y for x is equal to 1 then you will calculate y for x is equal to 2 in this way it will be a two step uh, Euler's method or it will be two iteration ok so we will first write the equation what are the given conditions x0 is 0 and y0 is 1 0 in the initial condition ok now step size it is 1 what you want at xg is equal to 2 you want yg is equal to 1 you want y at x is equal to 2 ok now how many iterations you will perform for that so that calculation is n is xg minus x0 upon h so n means xg is 2 2 minus 0 divided by h is 1 it means n is equal to 2 so it means you will perform 2 iterations now in first iteration iteration number 1 y1 according to the Euler's formula y1 is y0 plus x into f of x0 y0 now what is f of x y first of all whatever in front of dy by dx is a f of x y so here f of x y is x minus y ok so in the first iteration y1 that is the value of y calculated at x is equal to 1 because your x0 is 0 it means if you have step size 1 it means x1 will be 1 so this will be your x1 at which x1 is equal to 1 you are finding y1 ok so this y1 value will be depend upon your base value x0 and y0 and it will also depend upon the function so function is x minus y square so if you substitute the value y1 is y0 y0 is 1 plus h is step size 1 what is f of x0 y0 your function is x minus y square so x0 will be instead of x you will write x0 so it will be x0 minus y will be y0 so it will be y0 square so this is your f of x0 y0 so instead of x you are writing x0 and instead of y you are writing y0 in next step you will substitute those remaining values so what is x0 x0 is your 0 minus what is your y0 it is 1 1 square as per the function ok so your y1 value will be 1 plus 1 into minus 1 so your y1 is 0 because 1 minus 1 so it is y1 is 0 at x1 is equal to ok so this is your value of y at x is equal to 1 ok so this is your first equation but you want value of y at x is equal to 2 it means you have to now move further for the second iteration so if it is clear I can write here second iteration ok so for second iteration iteration number 2 what are the values at the end of first iteration x1 is 1 and y1 is 0 so you will use these values as a base for second iteration so you want y2 now so y2 will be corresponding to x2 where x2 will be your x1 plus h so x1 will be 1 h is 1 so x2 will be 2 so you are finding y at x is equal to 2 
Okay, so its formula will be y2 is equal to y1 plus h into f of x1 y1. Okay, previously y1 was y0 plus h into f of x0 y0. Now for second iteration, this value will iteratively change. So y2 will be y1 plus h into f of x1 y1. So in the function of x x y that is x minus y square, you will substitute those values x1 and y1. So your y2 will be y1 0 plus h is 1. What is f of x1 y1? As your f of x y is x minus y square, so it will be x1 minus y1 square. So y2 will be 0 plus 1 into what is x1? 1 minus what is y1? 0. So it will be 0 square. So y2 is 0 plus 1 into 1. So it will be 1. Okay. So you have got y2 at x2 is equal to. That's all. So your solution of given equation is at x is equal to 2, you have got y is equal to 1. Simple. So this is the Euler's formula method to find the solution, exact solution of ordinary differential equation. If they ask for y at x is equal to 3, what will be your correlation for y3? Now first of all there will be change here. Then for x is equal to 3, n will be 3. So it means you will go for third step, third iteration. Then your values will change or your formula will change. y3 will be y2 plus h into f of x2 y2. Then you will use these values x2 as 2 and y2 as 1. And you can substitute those values and you will get y3. Simple. So in this way, progressively you can find the solutions of this differential equation by Euler's method. So this is one of the simplest method. If you like this video, please share and subscribe. Thank you.